Have you ever found yourself stuck in dua to where you know what you want to ask Allah for, but you can't come up with the right words to ask Him for? What if I told you that there's one catch-all dua that takes everything you want to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for and puts it perfectly in a few sentences to achieve that goal? Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha says, that I was in my room, in salah, exerting myself in dua. And then the Prophet wasallam walks in on me while I'm in dua and he asked me for something alayhi salat wasalam and I was slow to respond to him. And then the Prophet wasallam intervenes and he says, Ya Aisha, I can give you something that you can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with that will achieve everything that you're trying to get out of this dua. Oh Aisha, say the following words. اللهم إني أسألك من الخير كله عاجله وآجله ما علمت منه وما لم أعلم وأعوذ بك من الشر كله عاجله وآجله ما علمت منه وما لم أعلم Oh Allah, I ask you from all that is good in this world and in the hereafter what I know and what I do not know and oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from all evil in this world and in the hereafter what I know and what I do not know. And then she goes on to say, Allahumma inni as'aluka min khayri ma sa'alaka abduka wa nabiyuka wa a'udhu bika min sharri ma a'adha bihi abduka wa nabiyuka. And O oh Allah, I ask you for all of the good that your slave and your prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has ever asked you for. And I seek refuge with you from all of the evil that your slave and your prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has ever sought refuge from. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-jannata wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin aw amal wa a'udhu bika min al-nari wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin aw amal Oh Allah, I ask you for jannah, for paradise and for that which brings me closer to it in word and in deed and I seek refuge in you from hellfire and that which brings me closer to it in word and in deed and then finally وَأَسْأَلُكَ أَن تَجْعَلَ كُلَّ قَضَاءٍ قَضَيْتَهُ لِي خَيْرًا And I ask you to make every decree that you decree concerning me good. So in this dua, subhanAllah, you have pretty much all of the articles of faith summarized in one paragraph. And I want to break it down inshaAllah ta'ala into four parts. The first part is everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. The second part is everything that the Prophet ﷺ asked for. The third part is everything that leads to the destination that I want in the hereafter. And then the fourth part is everything that is beneficial of decree for me in this world. Now that means everything that you want to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, whether it's your finances or your relationships or your careers or your pursuits, anything that you want to ask Allah for that you know is good for you, you're including it in this dua and also protect me from the evil that I know I want to be protected from. So if you're making dua for Allah to protect you from someone who's trying to harm you or for some sort of oppression, everything that I know to be evil and the harm that I don't even know exists out there, then then the second thing. And I ask you for all of the good that the Prophet Sallallahu ever asked you for and I seek refuge with you from all of the things that the Prophet Sallallahu would seek refuge from. And then finally, so O oh Allah, I ask you for Jannah and I seek refuge in you from the fire and every word or deed that could take me to the fire. And this is a profound realization that the Prophet ﷺ gives to us, where the Prophet ﷺ says that a person says one word and they don't even think about that word. And through that word, they please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah raises them by ranks into paradise. But on the other hand, a person says one word recklessly, not thinking about it. And by that word, they displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they plunge themselves into the depths of the fire. And so, oh Allah, I ask you for the destination and I ask you for the deeds that will take me to the desired destination in the hereafter. And then the last part of this dua is the one that fits destiny, the one that fits decree. And I ask you that every decree that you have for me here is good. Also, we find from this, dear brothers and sisters, that sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees for you ease, but if that ease takes you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that prosperity makes you ungrateful, or you use that prosperity to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then that decree is actually not khayr for you. It's actually not good for you. So you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the goodness of divine decree. 
And this is subhanAllah why the scholars say this prayer is so comprehensive. Now did the Prophet وسلم, also used to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for protection from the things that we know we don't want to see in this life, that we know are difficulties, that we know are the evil of decree? And the answer is absolutely. And there's a profound dua where the Prophet وسلم, also used to seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from four things. من جهد البلاء ودرك الشقاء وسوء القضاء وشماتة الأعداء He used to seek refuge عليه الصلاة والسلام from the severity of trials and then from drowning in misery and درك الشقاء the scholars say is when the trial becomes so severe that it could kill you subhanAllah it's like the end of it all where you're drowning in misery where you can't think outside of that trial anymore من سوء القضاء and from the hardship of decree, from the evil of decree. May Allah protect us from the evil of decree in this life or the next. And then finally, shamatatil a'da, when the enemies gloat over your misfortune. The Prophet ﷺ used to make this beautiful dua. Allahumma inni as'aluka rida ba'd al qada. Oh Allah, after it's all said and done, I ask you for contentment. I ask you to have the station of rida the station of being pleased with you after the qada, after the decree. And so while you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the destination of Jannah, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you the ability to be pleased with His decree in this life, then you've already achieved the destination of Jannah in this world in your heart.